Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Adeptus Sororitas or Sisters of Battle Morven Val Abes Sanctorum from Games Workshop. She's right here in this relatively thin box. I think she's only going to be one sprue. Uh, she will set you back £34.50. Uh, it's quite pricey uh, for a single character, um, but as you're probably um, aware, single characters do cost more because they sell less of them, and uh, sometimes the amount of R&D involved can be the same, if not more, and they all have their separate rules as well. So that being said, uh, she is a brand new uh, Lord of Terror, um, and she takes to the battlefield as a Lord of Terror. Really strange times we live in. When I started the hobby, I never uh, would have guessed that we'd have custodies, miniatures, let alone now a, a Lord of Terror. Um, but uh, here we are. So let's unbox it. I didn't buy her upon release. I think I'm a couple of weeks a bit behind. But me releasing the video now um, means that um, you shouldn't have too much longer to wait for a review. Uh, I'd rather do it this way than just you know, hoard all of the unboxing videos for the new releases and release them, you know, a month or two um, afterwards. I'd rather give you a first look at these new minis. So there she is. Okay, so let's unbox this and... Take her out. So... You only get one, um, you know, load out for her. You can put the helmet on it, which I will do. Um, let's have a look at this. One sprue, there it is. Uh, so this is the instruction guide. Yep, that's it, they're the, they're the two uh, variants. <laughs> uh, so you put the uh, sort of body together first, then the arms. Um, ammunition feeds, the missiles. I mean, she's got a very good missile launcher on there. Um, put the arms in. I'm not a big fan of these war suits, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, you know, these kind of like control stick type suits. I think it copies a lot of things that are currently out there. Uh, and Games Workshop, they, you know, they, they do create so many original things that I guess it's hard not to though nowadays, but still. Uh, you put the heavy bolter on. Yes, she's equipped with a heavy bolter. Um, and then you've got the legs. You've got the spear, which looks quite nice. And you've got another shoulder pauldron. And then you pop the torso onto the legs. And then the legs on the base. She does get like kind of a scenic base going on there. Um, and that is her. That's a kind of small, light little shortened data sheet um, for her. Uh, but if you want the full rules, you'll need to pick up this ninth edition uh, codex where her rules are in there. We'll be going through the rules uh, in her upcoming review once I've had time to, to build her. It shouldn't take me too long in the grand scheme of things. You get a lovely um, large base there. Um, and this is the sprue itself. So there's the scenic base. You've got some skulls, spelt, spent shells, a lot of skulls actually, worryingly. A bit of scenery. Um, there are these uh, quite weird walker leg type feet, they look a bit like shoes. Um, you've got the shoulder pauldrons, you know, there's no doubt there's a lot of uh, detail uh, on there. Um, fantastic amount of detail and on, on that one. Uh, you've got one of her arms with the remote control, with the uh, joystick. You've got the heavy bolter shells, which look like they've got the fleur-de-lis icon in every one, which is nice uh, uh, little added detail. You've got a bit of a um, sister-like, um, statuette thing. Heavy Bolter's got a Fleur de Lis icon and a big purity seal. You've got the um, missile launchers which are individual. Plenty of 3D detailing going on with these. I don't know if you can see in this light guys but um, yeah very very cool. You've got the beads with an ecclesiarch symbol and then you've got the um, shin armour. You've got uh, the head. You've actually got three head options. I was not aware of this. You've got like an angry face just a like a placid face and then you've got a, a, a helmeted version. I will be using the helmet, of course I will. Um, there's there's no way I, I wouldn't be with this one. Um, you've got these, like a skirt type of thing she's got. Um, you've got this shield that um, you know, the heavy bolter goes into. You've got the back armour, you've got the front armour with a big fleur de lis. You've got this amazingly long spear. 
Um, that is huge. I don't know whether it's as long as Bellacore's sword, but that is fantastic. There's a lot of detail there. Um, I don't think they can get much more detail on that spear, but it looks beautiful. Um, she's got some decent attacks as well, this one. Got another, I think that's another little arm that she's got. And yeah, the ammo feed. And more, another statue. Another like um, piece of armor as well. And then this is the ammunition feed for the heavy bolter and the power coupling for it as well. So yeah, um, not the huge amount of parts for her. Um, certainly there's a, a nice uh, amount of detail. Um, this is gonna be my first experience of the Paragon War suits. So I hope it uh, it lives up to it. They came out of nowhere. I really was not expecting these war suits or more than Val, <laughs> definitely not more than Val. Um, so we'll see how they uh, go together and how they look and how they suit with the um, My Sisters of Battle force. Interesting that we're getting, you know, reinforcements. Um, you know, the last reinforcements we had uh, were... were last year uh, when, the, when they had the full release. Um, and then recently we've had these war suits and the sacrosants. Um, I'm looking forward to the tank more than anything out of all of these, uh, but we'll we'll see. So there you go, that's my unboxing and first look at Morven Val, Abbess Sanctorum of the Adeptus Sororitas. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. I will be unboxing and reviewing the Paragon War suits very soon and uh, hopefully I'll have six of those in the force. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.